guys, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Today, I'm tired of staring at my four walls and I bet you are too. So, let's create a piece of high-end art together, this gallery wall, using just $10 and the printables I'm going to provide for you. So let's get started. The supplies for this project are very simple. I am using 10 mirrors from Dollar Tree. The size of these are about nine and a half by 11 and a half, but you could also use any size frame you like. And I'm gonna show you an example of that in a little bit. I used a paper cutter and spray adhesive for my project, but if you're going to frame these, you won't even need those two. I downloaded the art prints at 50% because I chose to have a white border around my prints, but you can make these fit whatever frames you have on hand. I just happened to have these 10 mirrors and I wanted to use what I had at home. The link to the prints that I'm demonstrating for you is right down below in the comment section of this video. So don't forget to click on over there. You'll get them downloaded either to your phone if you're watching this on your phone or to your laptop if you're watching it on your laptop. Please do give it just a little bit of time to download. These are very high quality prints and sometimes they take up to three minutes to download. Whatever frames or mirrors you choose to use, it's really important that you get those completely free of any kind of smudges or oil from your skin. So my favorite method for doing this is just to get some alcohol on that surface and rub it completely around. You could also use Windex or window cleaner, whatever works for you. So my method here, I am just gonna attach this art to the front of that mirror with some spray adhesive. Very, very simple, and you'll see how I do this. Make sure that you check the back of that frame or mirror and that you position your prints going right side up. I have to be honest with you and tell you that I had a few that were upside down and I had to start over. That was kind of frustrating. So save yourself a little time and double check to make sure everything you're placing is right side up. This was my first draft and I decided that I wanted a little bit more of the mirror showing so I went ahead and cut those down again. And I'm using this tool to smooth out all the wrinkles and bubbles. My son actually made this in one of his engineering classes, but you could use a spatula or an icing spreader, whatever works for you. You're gonna make what I call paper dummies, the size of the mirror frame that you're hanging. Mine was easy because it was roughly the size of a piece of printer paper. I'm folding it exactly down the middle and you'll see why I'm doing that in just a minute. And then the next step is to hang those dummy papers on the wall where you think you want that art to hang. This room is my office slash craft room slash studio. So that's why you see the little desk in here. And I am actually going to be giving a tour of this room in the coming week. So make sure you check back, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that episode. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you haven't already, I would love to come back and bring you more great content. Now this step is really important. You're gonna to wanna to leave those dummy papers on the wall just a while and try it out for size. You wanna make sure that this is exactly where you want the art to hang before you go to the next step. Next, we're gonna measure exact borders on these pieces of dummy paper. I used my level and I just used the width of the level for the spaces between each piece of dummy paper. 
Now I know that you can get levels for a dollar at Dollar Tree and they're even longer than the one I used, which would have been nice for this project, but this is what I had on hand. If you have an extra set of hands around the house during this portion, it's a lot easier. You can see me placing everything in my back pocket and taking it out again. You'll need scotch tape or some kind of tape. You could use painter's tape. You'll need a pencil and you'll need that level. And I just kept those three things in my back pocket and kept rotating them. Now you're gonna measure the length from the top of that frame to the hook you'll be hanging it from. Mine was exactly two inches, so it made it kind of easy to do. And then what you're gonna do is measure on those dummy papers right down the center line that you folded, two inches down or wherever your hook is, and put a little X, that's where your nail will go. I love to bring you upscale decorating ideas on a downsized budget so hit like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already this is a close-up of all those nails and you'll see them right in line down the row okay this is the moment we've been waiting for the most fun step is removing that paper This is a bedroom in our downsized home and one reason I wanted to hang these prints on the mirrors is that they're going to reflect the other wall and actually make the room look a little bit bigger. This will also be the bedroom my daughter will have when she comes to visit us so I wanted to make it something I thought that she would love and she loves the beach so these are summery beachy prints. For an upscale look on a downsized budget I am here for you so push like and subscribe and you'll be getting more downsized and organized tips from me at skip to my life we'll see you next time